Hey and welcome everyone. Let me just quickly show you how you can install a 2230 M.2 into the Lenovo Legion Go, even though a 2242 is actually intended for it. Here you can see the original SSD that came with the Lenovo Legion Go, and we're going to replace that with this smaller but bigger in capacity sized 2230 M.2 SSD with the help of an adapter which you can see here. You can get these adapters for below 10 bucks on eBay, Amazon or AliExpress. The only important thing is that it has to be able to include 30 to 42 as is written here. Now before we begin we need a soft underground so your Legion Go won't get scratched. I used a t-shirt in this case. Then we need a Phillips screwdriver with very small bits and we actually need two different sizes. One for the six screws outside and one for the small screws that hold the M.2 in place. We also need a small piece of plastic as a pry tool, like a slim guitar plectrum or an old credit card or something similar. Now just unscrew all six screws shown here and put them somewhere safe so you won't lose them. Then use the pry tool of your choice to go in between the back cover and the Legion Go's body. Gently press it inside and move along the side. Now, you could do this on all sides to be safe, but this time I was just able to lift the back up with some gentle force after clearing one side. If you're afraid of breaking stuff, just do all sides before instead. Now the first thing we have to do is to lift up this piece of tape and unplug the battery so we won't harm the electronics. And just put aside the cable for now. Then get rid of the screw that holds the old M.2 in place. Keep in mind that you need a slightly bigger screwdriver head for this, otherwise you could render the screw unusable. Then gently lift up the old SSD and pull it out. Now we can't just use a 3230 M.2 without the adapter, as it won't stay in place. So we first need our adapter. Break it from the other adapters if you have one like I do. Then attach it to the 2230 M.2 as shown here and tighten the screw so it stays together. If it doesn't perfectly stay together that's okay as long as it's not too wobbly, as it will be fixated once it's in the Legion Go's SSD slot. I also used some thermal tape to make sure the new SSD gets some cooling as well. I haven't tried it without such tape so be warned. I also used the tape on the other side of the SSD as well. Now put the new SSD in place like shown here and tighten the screw to fixate it. Now don't forget to plug in the battery once more and put the tape back in its place. If you're unsure that it works, you could just gently place the back cover on the Legion Go and boot it up in case you'll have to redo some steps. But I will close it for now. Make sure that you can hear a clear click on all edges and sides to make sure it's really closed again. Put in the six screws we've put aside before. Now rebooting for the first time will take quite a long time, so don't panic. And then you're done. Now you will of course need to copy the data of the old drive onto the new drive before you do all of this. If this video was helpful to you, please like and consider subscribing for more Lenovo Legion Go related videos on my channel. I already have some published as of now, so check them out. That's all for today, thanks for watching, see you next time, bye bye and tschüss.